Hello everybody, welcome to my weird and wonderful world and this is another one of my little divisive videos. I might be pushing people's buttons a little bit, but it's all in good fun. Now, I don't want to, I didn't want to use the word hate on this video. I know my before I did a video of my most, my 10 most hated bands, that was basically clickbait okay at the time but i don't want to make this clickbait these are bands that i dislike and they may have a song or two here and there that are okay but for the most part i'm not crazy for any of these bands at all now mind you okay on the flip side of that if anybody dislikes my favorite band of tool or like, or I, I'm a, I'm a fan of the Insane Clown Posse, and I'm a fan of uh, the Antwerp, for uh, example. I know many people probably don't like those, and it's okay. You don't have to like them. I'm never, ever going to be, be offended by that. And and because people have their taste, they have their reasons why they like something or dislike something, and and yeah, we're all, we're all entitled to our opinions and there's nothing wrong with that if you say i hate tool i hate nirvana i hate uh i hate this and i hate that i'm going to still give you a i'm still going to give you a heart anyway in the comments below because because it's personal music is subjective and again there's no need to take offense and i'm never going to take offense on that now i want to start getting into it I do have an honorable mention, okay? Now, I tried with this. Now, with this this artist, okay, and why I'm giving this an honorable mention is because I need to give this an extra chance. I got it particularly because he's a he's a band member of Husker Du or Husker Du, it doesn't matter how you pronounce it. And I love these albums and that, and I need to get more for sure. But I'm talking about Grant Hart and this album called The Argument. I didn't even have I don't even I didn't even have it in my collection. It was stuffed in a drawer. This is the only thing I have I had <laughs> stuffed in a drawer because I was super disappointed pointed with it. 40% of the songs were okay. Like I would probably give a 6 or 7 out of 10, right? But the rest of it, the rest of it, I would give a 3, maybe a, a maybe a 4 out of 10, you know? Because it was such a disappointing album. There's 20 songs on here. And like I said, maybe about 40% of it was okay, decent. Okay, there's Grant there. So, yeah, I... So this is just an honorable mention, maybe not even because it, because I do need to give this a couple more spins for sure because I'm hopefully it'll grow on me. You know that's what I'm hoping, but I can't make any promises on that. And so I kind of want to get into the list right now. And so I wrote I wrote down the bands. So now the first one, okay. They have. I bought. This is the only CD I have of 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 this band, and all the rest of my choices here I do not own anything from. I only own this because of one song, and I'm talking about Soft Cells and Memorabilia, and their song, of course, Tainted Love. But of course, is not even their song. It was originally recorded by a Gloria Jones way back when. I can't remember the year. But that is a fantastic song and worthy of doing a cover. And 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 they knocked it out of the park, of course. They it's a really good song that they did, but everything else on this is so like terrible. I, I now if I have this, okay, that song, Tainted Love, on any one of my uh, compilation albums, I'm definitely gonna keep that and get rid of this because it's in my it's in my top five worst albums that I own. I did a video uh, like a maybe two years ago where I talked about that. So yeah, that's just it's terrible. I, I uh, so that's that gets the top place. Now I was seeing that when I was doing my list of ten here, and they're not in any order at all. There, it's not going from the least worst to the worst. 
It's just these are 10 bands or, or artists that I just can't get into. I don't like them. I can't. I mean, and even saying can't stand is it's a little bit much, okay? I really don't like these and will never, never get anything from these bands. So, so Soft Cell is at first. Next is Mbop Hansen. Now, again, when I first seen the video for Mbop, I thought they were girls, first of all. That kind of... That kind of put me off on that, you know, and I re quickly realized that hey, no, no, <laughs> they're 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 guys, and or I, at the time they were boys, but yeah, I I don't like anything from Hanson. I don't like that type of music at all. So I and I and I haven't. I mean, I've heard a couple of things here and there of them, and yeah, it just no, not for me. So moving on. Yeah, I know I am not a fan of Pet Shop Boys at all. I find I uh, yeah, nothing from them really tracks me. I'm not a, I'm not really a fan of that genre of music personally. Same as Soft Cell. I mean, they're similar. They're not the same, but they're similar in genre and that kind of flake there's a flakiness to it and and I'm not crazy. Yeah, I'm not crazy for them. So you'll never see any uh, Pet Shop Boys in my collection at all, at all. Next, I had to pick a different genre, you know, so I, I picked baby metal, and that's the only kind of metal that I have on this list at all. Now, I know the Trash Talkers, you know, uh, the Behringer Bynes and Larry Cowan with their rappers react, they actually don't mind that, and they, and they, and they do like it, but it's... They're all, they're, I mean, they're flashy and they're, but as a genre of music, like for metal and that, there's so, so much more I'd rather choose to listen to rather than baby metal. It's too, it's too much of a gimmick, I think. And it's just, it, and they're talented. I will, I'll give them that. They are talented and they, and, and the people who love them, I under, I completely understand why, but it's just not for me. I'm, I, I'm sorry about that. But that's that's there, and of course the next one is uh, simply red. I had to I had to make a correction there because I actually put simple red because that's what I that's kind of what they represent to me a little bit. But it is simply red. I can't even tell you a name of a song because I because I know that everything I've heard from them was just yeah not not for me not for me at all. Okay, I don't want to make this too long, so I'm going to move on to, uh, yeah, DJ Khaled. Now, the reason why he's on this list is because, not just because I don't like his music, or not even him for that matter. He was on Hot Ones way back when, okay? And he, I was consider him the worst guest that they ever had on Hot Ones. He got to the third wing and then uh, I'm I'm calling it I'm out I'm out he quit he quit on the third wing it's like what a baby you know so I have I don't have any really respect for DJ Khaled unfortunately I'm sure he's probably a, a decent guy but as an artist yeah he's he's really kind of way down there now I'm going to probably make another list eventually probably not for another couple of months or so of, of 10 more bands that i dislike in that but yeah I, but this this is my list so far okay let's keep moving this train forward yeah yeah i had to put bon jovi on that list now mind you the first album maybe two albums are are, are okay they're they're not bad. I did kind of like the, him a little bit back in the day, but uh, I yeah I I if I have to, I, I I couldn't I can't listen to Living on a Prayer you know anymore because it's uh, yeah I I so I don't get any Bon Jovi at all. Um yeah I'm kind of way past that now i've evolved in my musical taste and bon jovi is just not a genre of music i i like so that's why bon jovi is on this list because yeah he's just 
yeah, he kind of got disappointing. And the majority of his music just does not appeal to me. All right, let's keep this train going even more. Yes, Ice Ice Baby with, with well, yeah, he, well, reason why I don't like, he made this one hit, okay, but of course he's because he plagiarized very apparently from, uh, from David Bowie and, the, and, and, and Queen, you know, that, that, you know, Under Pressure is a great song, and so, of course, you know, we say, hey, I like that beat, let's, let's, let's redo that beat and everything, and he joked about it, saying, it's not the same as, and, of course, he even admitted that he was joking about that, and that it is indeed the same, so, Vanilla Ice, everything I've heard after that is just, yeah, yeah, no, he's just, I, I would not even touch it with a 10-foot pole, because I don't like that genre of music, not necessarily that, not necessarily him. I mean, some music in that vein is okay, but not Vanilla Ice. He kind of, yeah, kind of, yeah, I don't have any more to say. All right. Yeah, Spandau Ballet. They're, yeah, they have that one song, True, okay, and I'm not even, a, I, I don't even like that. And every and I've and I've actually just not too long before doing this sample some other Spandau Ballet stuff just to make sure and nope not my genre of music at all same as simple is the same kind of stuff as Simply Red is the same kind of stuff as the Pet Shop Boys and Soft Cells in a way so I was seeing that I was getting the same kind of uh, similar similar genres. And I so that's why I had to put other stuff in there to mix it up a little bit. Now I think the last one here, and yeah, the last one is Tears for Fears. Again, same idea as Bandau Ballet, same idea as Simply Red, Pet Shop Boys, and Soft Cell. Yeah, nothing, nothing. I, I mean, you can be head over heels and you can try to rule the world. And but you're not gonna rule over me because I don't like I don't like his singing I don't like the way I don't like again that genre of music that's just for me is terrible and I will never never get anybody on this list because they are just not my type of music at all. So again, I hope I didn't offend anybody. Trust me, give give me you know if you don't like anything from that I like. I'm never going to be uh, I'm never going to be offended because we all have our our taste in music and there's nothing wrong with that. Doesn't matter if people like your music or not as long as you like it and it makes you happy and you enjoy it that is all that matters. And so I'm just going to let you go here but I want to quickly remind everybody I have a contest going on where I'm asking my subscribers you have to be subscribed to write me a, a very small little poem or or lyrics that I do want to try to turn it into a song. Only a, only 180 words tops. That's that's what I'm asking for. And I know I only have one entry so far that I know of by uh, by Metal Guru 85, and he left me the perfect uh, perfect example. I will be leaving a link to that at the end of this video here, right down below. And I'll put a link to my 10 most hated bands video that I did a while back. Again, I said that I used the word hate it for clickbait. It, you know, it's just too strong of a word to use. And so I didn't want to use it on this video. I'll leave that link up there. So everybody, you know how much I, I do love people and I do love you all out there. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do because you know I will greatly appreciate it and love you forever. And please comment as much, you know, again, if you comment if you don't like what I like or if you even if you hate Tool, Nirvana or any of the bands that I mentioned on my channel that I like, you know, again, you're not going to you're not going to upset me and please hit like there's nothing wrong with hitting like or dislike if you if you like these bands and you don't and you don't like what i had to say about them you can press the dislike button too that it's all good for me you know i completely understand and so i'm going to let you go now and 
you know, as always, I just really want people to be safe, to take care. I will see you on the flip side. And please, everybody, have a great day, evening, morning, night, afternoon, wherever you may be. Peace, everybody.